all, and welcome to Miss Robbie's Classroom. I'm your teacher, Miss Robbie, and today we will have a topic on the self learning modules for Science 9. For this clip, you will need your Science 9 Module 4, your activity notebook, and a pen. Pay attention when you hear the bell sound. That means you may need to pause the video in order to do the task given. Then resume the video once you're done. And remember to practice honor and honesty when answering your modules. This module is divided into two lessons. Lesson 1, Sex Limited Traits, and Lesson 2, Sex Influence Traits. So after going through this module, you're expected to explain the different patterns of non-Mendelian inheritance, different shade sex limited traits and sex influence traits, illustrate through a Punnett square, a cross involving sex limited and sex influence traits, and show willingness in performing the individual task at home. And so with that, let's talk about module 4, sex limited traits and sex influence traits. Before we go on, let's find out what you know about the topic. Go to page 5 of your modules. Read carefully each item. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. Write only the letter of the best answer for each question. Write your answers in your activity. Number 1. A scientist is studying an animal and finds out that a gene is located on autosome 2. It controls antler production in the male animals. Note that females do not produce antlers. This is an example of A. Recessive trait B. Dominant trait C. Sex influence trait or D. Sex limited trait The correct answer would be letter D. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in page 5? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 16 to 18 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. In the previous modules, you learned about the non-Mendelian patterns of inheritance. Let's review on these concepts below. Incomplete dominance. Neither allele is dominant over the other. The phenotype produced is the complete mixture of both dominant and recessive allele. An example of this is the red flower with the white flower would result into a pink flower. Codominance. Both the allele for a specific trait are equally expressed. This with the red flower plus the white flower results to both the red colors and the white colors of the flower. Multiple alleles. A trait that has more than two different alleles resulting to more than two phenotypes expressed. In the next lesson, you will find out and understand more why some characteristics and traits are only inherited in males or in females. So other non-Mendelian patterns are the sex-limited traits and the sex-influenced traits. Take a look at Figure 1. Based from what you've experienced and observed, which of the following you usually and normally see most? A bald man or a bald woman? How about in Figure 2? What difference in the sheep's phenotype can you notice easily? That's right, males have horns while the females do not. Sex limited traits are expressed in only one gender. Though the genes are present in both sexes of sexually reproducing species, but are expressed in only one sex and have no penetrance or are simply turned off in the other. In sex limited traits, genes are inherited by both male and female, but is expressed in one sex due to sex hormones. Examples of sex-limited traits is the milk production or lactation in mammals, which is only expressed in females, may it be in humans 
or in animals like pigs, cows, dogs, and others. And beards in humans are both expressed in males and females, but is expressed invisible among males. Sex influence traits are genes that are not carried on the sex chromosomes. These traits is unusual by the way they are expressed phenotypically, where the difference is in the ways the two genders express its genes. This means that both men and women have the traits, but it's expressed more on one gender than on the other. Example of this is the pattern baldness in humans. Even though the trait is not restricted only in males, but it's more prominent in males because of the testosterone that they have. Both males and females have testosterone, but males have much higher levels of this hormone than females do. As a result, baldness in males behave like a dominant allele, compared to the females, which behave like a recessive allele. That's why you usually see a male bald person than a female bald person. Let's have more activities to help you master and strengthen the basic concepts of this lesson. Go to page 10 to 12 and answer the enrichment activities in your notebook. Read and follow the instructions carefully. Are you ready to answer? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items and what's more? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 16 to 18 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. Did you learn something? Go to page 12 and answer the items in what I've learned. Tell whether the following sentences and examples are sex-limited traits or sex-influenced traits. Write SLT for sex-limited traits and SIT for sex-influenced traits. Select in number 1. Expressed only or carried by an individual or a particular sex. The correct answer is sex limited traits or SLT. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in page 12? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 16 to 18 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. It's assessment time! Go to page 13 and answer the assessment. Write your answers in your activity notebook. Answer correctly. Number 1. In what way are sex-limited and sex-influenced characters similar? Number 2. What is the main difference between sex-limited and sex-influenced traits? Show your answer by using the Venn diagram below. Good luck! Congratulations! Now you know about sex-limited and sex-influenced traits. To make sure that you apply the lesson you just learned, I want you to do the remaining activities on this module. Go to page 13 and answer what I can do. Follow the instructions carefully. Show the cross in Punnett Square and identify both genotypes and phenotypes if a bald man whose father was normal is getting married to a female whose both parents are normal. Can a female be bald? Why or why not? Support your answer. Write your illustrations in a clean sheet of long bond paper and submit to your teacher for checking. Good luck! Now you're all set for Module 5. Until next time, this is your teacher, Miss Robbie from Miss Robbie's Classroom. Happy studying, guys!